Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm Kevin Quinn, the eighth president of Aquinas College. Today is a great day to be a saint, even better than a year ago. <laughs> On behalf of the entire Aquinas College community, I am so happy, finally, to be able to say welcome to the Aquinas College class of 2020 commencement ceremony Honoring, honoring our 78th graduating class. Third time's a charm, folks. <laughs> all kidding aside, last year we announced our commitment to honoring all of your achievements in person on this campus that you called home for so many years. We are grateful, very grateful, to be able to welcome all of you, both those in person and those joining us virtually. Thank you. This is your day, and we are here to cheer you on. 
To begin the celebration, I invite uh, Genevieve Heidenreich from the class of 2021 to lead us in the singing of our national anthem. The music will be provided by Dr. Tom Paulette of the Aquinas College Commencement Brass Quintet. So please rise. be seated. Thank you, Genevieve, Dr. Paulette, and the members of the Aquinas College Commencement Brass Quintet. Quintet. Now, it is our honor to invite forward our chaplain, Father Stan Drungowski, who will offer today's invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God of life, love, and mercy, on this day of celebration we give you thanks. Over these past years, you have watched over and guided these men and women in their journeys to this day. You have been their strength in times of weakness, their perseverance in times of discouragement, and at all times, their peace. As, the, we, as they move forward, we recognize in them with the power of your Holy Spirit. May they always celebrate you in prayer. Guide them in your continued search for wisdom in truth and study. Allow them to form and find communities of support and strengthen them to express gratitude for your graces through loving service. As we prepare to send them forward, we ask that you be with them always as they live lives that sing your praise, bless your name, and speak always your divine truth. Saint Catherine of Siena challenged us to preach the truth as if we had a million voices, to transform our world, and truly be the saints we proclaim ourselves to be. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Father Stan. We are quite blessed to have uh, Father Stan as uh, one of our two chaplains. Father Bob uh, is uh, our other, and we are a much better place for their being here. Graduates, it is my honor to officially recognize your achievements on behalf of all of our community. 
In doing so, I would like to acknowledge some folks. Um, I'd like to begin with the Dominican Sisters of, of Grand Rapids, who are not only our foundresses, but the centering force in the work that we do. Every day, we strive to fulfill the noble mission that they have established for us. And that's, that's an actual fact. We, as a leadership group, we, that's our place that we go when we have to make difficult decisions. And uh, that makes uh, a much better Aquinas College uh, than it otherwise would be. So thank you, sisters. <laughs> Next, I'd like to recognize the Aquinas College Board of Trustees. Although you may not see them in your classes, our trustees, all of them, care very deeply for this college. Many of them are alums. Many of them were doing what you were doing in any number of years ago. They give generously of their time and talents to govern and provide direction for our work. Um, we have uh, representing our board of trustees today, uh, Marcy Hillary, and uh, she is our board chair. So how about a round of applause for the work that they do. I recognize our Aquinas College CAB members, the leaders of our campus who work tirelessly to guide the daily operations of our campus, to honor our past, create a meaningful present, and work toward a vibrant future for our campus and our students. Thank you, Cabinet. And last, but certainly not least, a welcome to all of our families, friends, faculty, staff, and alumni who are watching us via the live stream. Thank you for joining us and thank you for cheering on our newest graduates. A special welcome to all the moms who are joining us today on Mother's Day. Your love and support and your guidance has helped our graduates reach this milestone and we all thank you. So how about a big wave to all the moms and family and friends watching on TV. Hi, mom. All right, um, usually at this event, we would tell you that you are closing one chapter in your life and embarking on a new adventure. And while that's true, you certainly have had a unique experience. You've already begun that new journey, and you've done so with resilience, patience, and generosity. Because of the pandemic, your journey might have started off a little rockier than usual. Maybe it was hard to see far enough ahead, or maybe you discovered an altogether different path than you had been planning. But whatever this year has brought, wherever it's led you, I hope that you felt, and will always feel, that this place, this campus, this community will be a constant in your life forever. I hope that returning to our beautiful tree-lined paths is a reminder that no matter how distant, you are always in our thoughts and you will always be saints. It is here that you learn the important life lessons, such as how many cups of coffee it takes to pull off a big project. How to be on time, mostly during a snowstorm. How to give a voice to the voiceless. How to paint a giant rock in the dark. How to tell if somebody is six feet away. And even how to stay out of trees. As you walk across the stage today and receive your diploma, think back to your arrival on this campus as a first year student. What you've accomplished since then in the face of enormous challenges, challenges that people will be writing about for a very, very long time, that should bring you an overwhelming sense of pride for this accomplishment that we celebrate today. You did it. You know, before you leave today, I want to encourage you to find a spot on our beautiful campus. That won't be hard. And find a moment of stillness. Pause in that moment. Peacefully and intentionally take in everything around you. The colors, the sounds. Etch that into your memory. And please don't forget to come back and visit us so that we can hear of your adventures and you can share the growth of this great institution. You will always be a part of us. We will always be a part of you. Our patron saint, Thomas Aquinas, said, the things that we love tell us what we are. Today, I hope, back you look, I hope that you look back on your time at Aquinas College with love, because that tells us you are forever saints. Congratulations.
At this time, I would like to call forward Aquinas College Provost and Dean of the Faculty, Dr. Steve Jermick, who will recognize our outstanding graduate for 2020. Thank you, President Quinn. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, the graduate for this award couldn't be here today, um, but I'm sure she is watching via the live stream. It is my honor to recognize the recipient of the Monsignor Arthur Bukowski Award for Outstanding Graduate for the Class of 2020. The Monsignor Bukowski Award is the highest honor given to an Aquinas College student. This award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated academic leadership and been active during their collegiate career in service to Aquinas College. For the class of 2020, I recognize Svetlana Girakor for her noteworthy academic service and leadership. Svetlana double majored in biology and music. In addition to her outstanding academic record, she was on the dean's list for eight semesters. Her campus engagement with ministry, the Multicultural Club, the AQ Chemistry Society, Vibe, and Women in Power, her internships with the Health Department and the Atlantis Fellowship Program, her research projects and conference presentations, and her numerous musical performances. Svetlana discovered her path at Aquinas through her determination and through her faith. She showed incredible resilience in the pursuit of her goals, and that adaptability to face challenges one day at a time has been more valuable than ever this past year. This is the award. Oh, it comes through nice on that image. Svetlana, huge congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Jermick, and congratulations, Svetlana. Well deserved. It is now my distinct honor to welcome back to campus an Aquinas alum who has maximized every moment of his is, has maximized every moment of his experience as a student on our campus. Paul B. is the vice president of ticket sales and service for the Milwaukee Bucks. Paul graduated from Aquinas College in 2006 with a dual major in business and communication. He was also a two-sport athlete in track and basketball. After graduating, Paul began his career as an inside sales representative with the Cleveland Cavaliers. There was a big star that played for the Cleveland Cavaliers at one point, I seem to remember. Can't remember his name. Where he grew with the organization over his four and a half years there. Next, he started a group sales department with the Detroit Red Wings and Olympia Entertainment. Not surprisingly, Paul grew within the organization and became director of ticket sales, playing a fundamental role in the opening and selling of tickets for Little Caesars Arena. After seven years in Detroit, Paul joined the Milwaukee Bucks as a vice president of ticket sales, as the vice president of ticket sales. In Milwaukee, he has transitioned his team and the season ticket members to the Bucks' new home, Pfizer Forum. The hospitality that he has fostered within the culture of the Bucks organization is truly a reflection of our Dominican heritage. It is, I, I know from personal experience, that it is a welcoming place and that he and his team have set up personalized experiences. Um, his leadership is one that we should all try to emulate. I hope you're inspired by Paul's story and the impact that Aquinas College uh, and his education here has had on his life. So please join me in welcoming our very own Paul B. Take some time to say this, but I'm so happy to say, welcome back, congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs> just want to thank President Quinn, First Lady Quinn, Aquinas College faculty and staff and board of directors for having me back. Uh, and, and I know he's not here today, um, but I, I want to give a special shout out again to Professor Dave Winandi, who I know most of you probably know, uh, because his class, I believe, was public speaking 401 if, years ago where I learned the principles of developing a public speech, how to prepare for one. And I actually took that along the way with me throughout my career. Um, so hopefully I could do him proud, but uh, it's funny how back then coming from a long way up, I think it was a 10 minute how to do speech and I think I did how to make a drum set out of garbage cans from your dorm room. 
uh, to today. So it's, it's come a long journey, but Professor Winandi, thank you for your words. And for all those parents and, and family that help with the tuition bills, let this be proof that Aquinas education will stick with you and help you out at some point in those lives. So it'll pay off. Uh, but truly an honor to be here. I know we've waited a long time for this to happen. And the fact that you all came back to campus, uh, I'm, I'm truly humbled to be able to be here and, and present the words to you today. Um, as you heard, you know, I'm from the world of professional sports. Uh, four years here on this campus, a lot of hours in places like Weggy, where my teammates, we called it a weekly holiday uh, for that Tuesday Taco Tuesday special. Um, and then all the way to the, that White House on the hill over there on Fulton Street, which we deemed the basketball house the last couple of years I was here. And, and, and God bless anyone that's lived there since we left, but had a lot of fun here. But even after my time here at Aquinas, getting a chance to work for franchises like the Cavaliers, the Red Wings, the Tigers, and now with the Milwaukee Bucks, AQ has always remained near and dear to my heart. I always love coming back to campus, bringing my kids, bringing my wife, talking about it with, with my friends I've had for very many, many years now. And it's awesome to see what the campus has done, continuing to grow. I wish I had this kind of establishment to play in because our old uh, gym, what I called the barn back then, didn't smell as nice and didn't have as good AC as this place does, but congratulations nonetheless. And uh, before I continue, just want to make sure I officially thank the college uh, for, I used to, I refer to the time back, we, I call it the throwback era, where we had, we were, our teams, I played basketball for four years, we had red, white, and blue as our colors. And I just want to thank the college officially for giving me the gear to always be ready for 4th of July, Memorial Day, all those holidays where it's necessary. And uh, whether I was supposed to take my jersey or not, uh, I still wear it like I just left. So always repping AQ to the fullest, and it's always a pleasure to be back. 2020, I mean, you all were here when this whole thing started. And who could have predicted what was happening since then? Are we going on this long? I mean, at that point, we hadn't quite got to virtual classes yet. We were still understanding what social distancing was. These things we knew we needed, but we didn't know how many designs, how extravagant we could get with them, and what it really meant to need to wear a face mask. But then as you guys left and, and started to, to figure out what this world was about, social injustice, arguably the most controversial political race in, in American history. And then the background of the global pandemic just continued to grow. And the fact that, one, you all got out, you made a way, and you came back to celebrate what you worked hard for still, you have my utmost respect for that because it speaks loudly to your character. And to not speak lightly of it, but that year, that was supposed to be the year you were just ready to really throw your hats, ready to celebrate, really embark on what the journey was about to be. You prepare for jobs, you prepare for internships, whatever the case was going to be after graduation, and you had to pivot. So the fact that you did, don't take that lightly, because you guys are here in the beginning of this thing, and you've been able to persevere since then. So I've had some success, I've had some failures, and I was trying to figure out what I was going to talk to this group in particular about, right? Because we were supposed to do this over a year ago. Back then, I can't even remember what my main points were at that point, but it all quickly flipped when I realized that, I think we all realized that life is different and there's more important things out there than worrying about a job and worrying about your career and, and making money. So I have three challenges for you today. Uh, these are challenges that have helped me throughout my time, through my struggles, through my success, personal and professional career. We actually train some of our Milwaukee Bucks staff on this when they come in, a new class coming in every year. So I think that the goal would be you take one of these things along with you, because you've been out, you've seen it, but if this can help you continue, that's my mission. My first challenge to you is to find your why. Now, I didn't come up with this concept. There's a book written, there, there are many philosophers out there. I've had mentors and even colleagues that talk about how important finding your why is. And I know you guys already began that journey to figure that out, some of you are there. My why when I was sitting in your seats, it was to wear a suit, I wanted to work in the NBA, and I wanted to make money. Now, I'm pretty sure the making money portion came from being in classy establishments, uh, you guys might know it, uh, Yesterdog, where I had to determine if I could purchase four ultra dogs or if I had to settle for the two based on what was or was not my wall at the time. I was sick of doing that. I wanted to buy what I wanted. I wanted to make some money, right? My why changed. My why now is I have a beautiful wife, I have two beautiful children, and it's to provide for them to make sure that they're taken care of and that they're set for life. Your why is going to change too. I guarantee it has over the past eight, nine, 10 months. And that's okay. My manager and I, we often talk about the importance of this with our staff on a, on a continual basis. I challenge you to find it because think about it. Once you find your why, your level of joy 
will exponentially increase. Another thing to consider is that how many people around the world, right? There's probably millions, and you can probably name out five to 10 right now, who just not just don't like what they do, but can't stand it. I refuse to be one of those people long ago. So ask yourself, why are you looking at the career you are? If you landed that dream job, great, that's okay. Uh, if you haven't landed it, that's okay as well, because I feel you will. But if your why leads you to finding happiness, and not just happiness to find a job, but happiness to get out of bed every morning, you're really good after it, you're well on your way. So stay true to that. My next challenge to you is to be a good person. Growing up, I was a military brat. My parents instilled this in me from an early age. I like to think that while my time on this campus, my friends, my teammates, professors, my favorite bartenders down at Mojo's, they could say that I was a good person to them. And I take tremendous pride in that. This past year has shown us how crucial this really is. I mean, you, you guys have been out there, you've seen it, you've been amongst it. I personally have struggled tremendously to understand why treating a fellow man equally and fairly is still not understood by many and not even a focal point by a lot. During these times, being a good person is also showing empathy and trying to understand why caring about each other is so imperative. You never know someone else's struggles, especially if you never, never had the chance to walk in their shoes. You know, what I remember most about being here at Aquinas, the fact that I have lifelong friends, um, teammates that I refer to as brothers, because of conversations we had on this campus many times, where we'd have what I like to call, when I tell my staff, is real talk conversations where you hear, you listen, you don't just talk back and forth and try to get your point across. Tell them the stories about things they would never imagine really do exist still. For example, telling them when I was racially profiled and pulled over as a teenager. Telling them when I was told I couldn't take a girl out for a date because her parents didn't approve because I was black. Asking them about their stories, their history, where they grew up, things that they had to go through as kids to get to the people that they were at that point. But the understanding was there, the hearing was there, the listening was important. So I feel that if the world could do much more of that, real talk, we'd be in a much better situation. So with these kind of conversations, I think that stems from being a good person. So every one of you in these seats today can help with that. You know, I didn't master the few theological classes that I had here at Aquinas, but there were a few things I do remember I took away. Gender, race, sex, sexual preference, political preference, None of that should determine how you treat anyone. And I believe that is not our job to determine who is right or wrong based on their beliefs, who is sinning, who is not. That's for one and one only, and he's up there. Being a good person is not just important for personal use, but I think this also can help you out as you get your professional level continuing. You know, it's an old sales rule that people buy from who they like. In that same vein, I believe that people will help out who they like. I think people will mentor who they like. I think people will open doors for who they like. So in my mind, that equation's simple. You are a good person, people will more than likely like you. If they like you, they will be there to help you out. And I think we all know that we can all use some help along the way. I think we've seen that very evident as you guys have been out in the world since you left campus last year. I mean, selfishly, I want my kids to grow up in a world of less hate. The world needs more good. But by being a good person, you guys can help with that. My last challenge to you is to breathe. Breathe because whether you are stepping into your ideal situation or not, you will end up where you're supposed to be. Some of you are in the dream job that you wanted all along right now. Some of you have taken a job to give you experience to eventually reach that dream job. Some of you, I get it, are still paying bills. You took a job to make money, get those bills taken care of, and that's okay too. But whatever the scenario is, Know that it'll be okay and have faith it'll work out because, again, you will end up where you're supposed to be. One of my favorite quotes from Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass said, without struggle, there can be no progress. As you heard me say, I've had many struggles in my life, but this has helped me along the way immensely because it gives me the, rem the reminder that there's light at the end of the tunnel, there's hope. I mean, you guys left this campus unsure of what in the world was going on. You got out there. You either got your jobs or you took jobs to make money, and you're trying to navigate this new world that nobody, none of us, have had to experience before. But I feel that this kind of quote is one thing I always had to keep in mind because there is a better day coming. We are going to get out of this pandemic. We will 
get to wherever the new normal is going to be. So I want you all to keep that in mind. So whatever your future holds, remember you're supposed to be there. Breathe. When life throws you some struggling times, breathe. And when you decide to take a big life move, and that involves you, involves you taking a big risk, do it, but know you'll be okay. And even then, breathe. I challenge you to always bet on yourself, because when your doors start to open and you continue to climb, the air, as you get higher, gets a little bit fresher, a little more crisp, and breathing will become easier along the way. So find your why, be a good person, and breathe, because you will end up where you're supposed to be. I will never pretend to have it all figured out, because I, I definitely don't. But I'm learning and trying to better myself and people around me every day. The important thing is at the end of the road, when you look back in your life, you're proud of the person you become and how you impact the world. I mean, you know the saying, leave the world better than when you entered it. You have all worked incredibly hard to get to this day where you receive officially your diploma, where you get to walk across this stage. Your resilience, your focus, your determination to get to that point and then get out in the world and try to figure out what, what is it? What am I being? What am I in this world? How am I going to move forward? God doesn't give us challenges that we can't handle. And every single one of you is a true example of that. But the real job is just beginning, right? You've been out there for a while, but it will continue. So continue to stay buckled up. Continue to be settled in. But please, make sure along that way you still enjoy the ride. But most of all, you should be proud because there probably will not be a class that we will know of that's been through what you have, but you're still here. And I'm just pleased to welcome you to the alumni family today, but just please remember that the best is yet to come. You're all going to do, if you haven't already, do amazing and fantastic things. The reason I know that is because, as today we say it's 100% official, that you are now all saints. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thanks for coming back. Thanks so much, Paul. We, we are really fortunate to uh, call Paul a member of our community. You're a shining example of what it means to be an Aquinas College Saint. And now we're gonna move on to the conferring of degrees. A brief note about photography. Each graduate will have the opportunity to have their photograph taken right here on stage. You will also have the opportunity to have your portrait uh, taken after you leave the stage. I would like now to call upon Provost Jermick to assist with the presentation of the candidates for degrees in course. Thank you, President Quinn, and, and thank you all to the, to the graduating class of 2020 for coming back either, either in person or virtually and, and finding closure on this, uh, on this tremendous journey you've been a part of over the last several years. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank, take the opportunity to congratulate the class of 2020 graduates of the University of Detroit Mercy Nursing Degree Program who completed their undergraduate work here at Aquinas and who have been valued members of the Aquinas student body. So big shout out for that. For the Each candidate for, candidate for either a master's or bachelor's degree is wearing a hood representing his or her degree. To help you understand the academic regalia, I refer you to the commencement program. Some graduates have distinguished their academic achievements with honors. Summa cum laude, with highest honors, is awarded to those students who have earned a 3.9 or higher grade point average. Magna cum laude, with high honors, acknowledges the achievement of a 3.7 to 3.9 grade point average. And cum laude, with honors, is awarded to those students who have attained a 3.5 to 3.7 grade point average. Graduates attending virtually will be recognized on the screen after the last graduate crosses the stage. Please note the traditional turning of the tassel will be directed as a group following the presentation candidates. They should now be on the, on the right side of your mortar board. If anyone has it on the left, you're gonna, you're gonna have to start all over again at freshman year and go through <laughs> the whole thing. And it's just, so make sure it's on the right. Um, the usher at the end of your roll will direct you uh, when to stand and to begin moving forward. Looks like we're all set. 
President Quinn, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I am honored to present the candidates to the, for the degree of Master of Management. Nicole Ludwig. President Quinn, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I am honored to present the candidates for the degree of Master in the Art of Teaching. Oops. Which one is it? Education. Oh, Master in the Art of, uh, Master in Education, my apologies. Sean Briggs. President Quinn, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I am honored to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Joy Lynette Adams. <clears throat> Kristen Lynn Avila. Latoya Booker, summa cum laude. <clears throat> Haley Jade Callahan. <clears throat> Stephanie K. Chenlo. Magna Cum Laude. <clears throat> Emily Cipriano, Cum Laude. <clears throat> Renee Lynn Cole. Amy Cutlip, Magna Cum Laude. <clears throat> Kaylee Louise Davies, Magna Cum Laude. Erin <clears throat> Kathleen Duan, Magna Cum Laude. Stacy Linnell Fellows, Summa Cum Laude. <clears throat> Esperanza Santiago Garcia. Bridget Gibley, summa cum laude, in Cygnus. Catalina Vergara Gomez, cum laude. Cassandra Harrington, summa cum laude. Satchel Mariano Horton. <clears throat> Brittany Wynn Clemish. <clears throat> Carla Marie Calion. Elizabeth Konarzewski, magna cum laude. Applause 
Nicholas Matthew Lenz, cum laude. Caitlin Miller, magna cum laude. Kelly Miller, magna cum laude. Mitchell Mulroy. Alyssa Lynn Noach, summa cum laude, in Cygnus. Allison Grace O'Connell, magna cum laude. Clary Oginus, magna cum laude. Harumi Stephanie Patsy Manessis. <clears throat> Jana Pant, cum laude. <clears throat> Danielle Mackenzie Porter. Here to present Sena Precious with her diploma is her mother, Christina Martinez Precious, a 2020 Aquinas College employee. Laura Christine Reese, magna cum laude. Anna Louise Rose, summa cum laude. Margaret Mita Rose, summa cum laude. Aubrey Amor Michaela Ruiz. Alexa Christine Rumor. Abigail Joe Safago. Mariana Santos. <laughs> Emily Michelle Sapek. <laughs> Elizabeth Schuf, summa cum laude. Nell Simone Samansky, cum laude. <clears throat> Sydney Nicole Tice, summa cum laude. <clears throat> Simon Vernon, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Jordan Walters. Kaipri Nyaza Emma Simone Whitney.
Kamaria Monique Williams. President Quinn, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I am honored to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Bailey Rebecca Brown. <laughs> Jade Rose Birch, magna cum laude. Delaney Coldiron, magna cum laude. <laughs> Ashley Page Cooper, cum laude. <laughs> Aria Cusenza, summa cum laude. Attila Arahan. <laughs> Eunice Young Yamba. <laughs> Kelsey Renee Hall. Haley Jack, summa cum laude. <laughs> Megan Kelsey Jones. <laughs> Reese Matthew Carnes. Taylor Therese Labine. <laughs> Kate Marie Liberaki, magna cum laude. <laughs> Marissa Colleen Loya, cum laude. Mia Elena Loya, cum laude. <laughs> Alexandria Simone Payton. <laughs> Anna Rapesh Magna, cum laude. Juliet Catherine Rickel, magna cum laude. <laughs> Lauren Sanford, cum laude. <laughs> Ty Smith, cum laude. Giovanna Ward. Amanda Wells. President Quinn, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I am honored to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in General Education. Neil Harold. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Slater. Desiree Webb.
Max Henry Berry, cum laude. Mac was, uh, got the degree of uh, professional accountancy. Congratulations, Mac. And President Quinn, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I'm honored to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Professional Accountancy. Madison Davis, magna cum laude. Sean Reamer. President Quinn, on the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I'm honored to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Keith James Octorloni. <laughs> Nicholas James Brzezinski. Celeste Cantwell, magna cum laude. Michaela A.S. Dudley. Here to present Emily Durkee with her diploma is her husband, David Durkee, an Aquinas College employee. Summa cum laude. Matthew Jeffrey Fosdick, magna cum laude. Sierra Haynes. Adam Leaguewater. President Quinn, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Aquinas College, I am honored to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in International Business. Sister Esther Mario Orquor, OP. Rachel Lynn McCurdy, magna cum laude. Anastasia M. Tefelski, summa cum laude. Congratulations, each and every one of you. Now we will recognize graduates who are attending the commencement ceremony virtually. Svetlana Girakor, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Science. <clears throat> Lucas J. Isinga, summa cum laude, Bachelor of Arts. Calvin Lind, cum laude, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. <clears throat> McKenna Ray Maltby, cum laude, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. <clears throat> Haruka Onodera, magna cum laude, Bachelor of Arts. Angelic Houston, Bachelor of Arts. Will all the candidates, both in person and virtual, please stand for the formal conferral of your degree and the traditional turning of the tassel, but don't turn the tassel quite yet.
by virtue of the authority vested in me as president of Aquinas College by the Board of Trustees, and upon recommendation of the faculty, I am very pleased to confer upon each of you the degree as it applies to you, and cite you as being worthy of all of its rights and privileges and responsibilities appertaining thereto. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2020. You may be seated. You did it. You did it. <laughs> And now we have a little special surprise for you. Even though our Aquinas College faculty members could not join us in person today, they wanted to let you know how wonderful you are and how much you are missed. So roll the video. Congratulations, Saints. We can't wait to see all that you accomplish. Hey, from the Department of Sociology and Community Leadership, congratulations, graduates. Congratulations. To the graduating class of 2021, the Kinesiology Department says, congratulations. Uh, Aquinas students are what makes Aquinas Aquinas, and we're really looking forward to seeing what you do in the future. And we can't say that we have our favorite classes, but you guys work together so well and were so enjoyable to teach that you're definitely up there on my list. Thanks for making my first year such a wonderful experience, and uh, it was an absolute honor to work with all of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. From all the art faculty to our graduates, congratulations. Hey, art majors, it's been a pleasure working with you. Congratulations. Hi, art seniors, congratulations, you're awesome. Hey, congratulations, art majors. Congratulations, graduates, we're very proud of you. Congratulations. Biology. And? Health. Science. Graduates. We're proud of you. Yay. Yay. Congratulations. You've worked hard to get here. Now go enjoy your summer. The communication department and the theater program congratulate you. We are so proud of you and all that you've accomplished. And we wish you the same success in the future. And we'd like to offer you this virtual standing ovation. And say, break a leg for your future endeavors. Enhorabuena, estudiantes español. Felicitations a vous, les étudiants de français. I just want to congratulate you on your tremendous achievement and wish you good luck for the future. Bon chance, suerte para el futuro. Congratulations. You've survived the worst year anybody has experienced in a hundred years and gotten through your degree program. We're so proud of you. My best wishes as you move to the next stage of your life. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations. Yay, congratulations, AQ grad. You did it, 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 you did it. You did it, you did it. I am so proud of you, you did it. Listen, you are saints forever. Go out and unleash the elephant in you. Make us proud, make yourself proud, yay! On behalf of the faculty and staff of the chemistry department, I send our sincere congratulations to the chemistry students graduating today. You have worked hard to reach this milestone and we are proud of you. Best wishes. Congratulations, Master of Management graduate. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, MM students. Wishing you the best in your next steps. It's been, it has been such an honor and a blessing to be in part of the Herb lives. Thank you. Good luck. Congratulations, MM students. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, 2020-2021 music grads. Yay! Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Wonderful. Keep singing. Good work. Hello, Geography and Environmental Studies majors. Adam, Adeline, Avery, Autumn, Brianna, Elizabeth, Spencer, and Xavier. We wish you great things in the next part of your journey. Please keep in touch. Let us know how everything's going. Greetings, graduates. What a long, strange trip it's been. We salute you for your perseverance and tenacity. You've shown yourselves to be real saints. 
Don't be a stranger. Come back and see us and your alma mater. Way to go, Saints. You made it. Tough year. You're about to embark on a great journey. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hands. Go Saints. Congratulations to all graduates, especially those who studied business at Aquinas College. We are so proud of you. Go, Go Saints. Saints! To all of you most beloved English graduates, I wanted to express my most heartfelt congratulations on this wonderful occasion. I wish you the best of luck on the next chapter of your life's journey. Hey, Women's Studies minors. We, Women's Studies faculty, are so very proud of you, each one of you. Congratulations on reaching the end of this particular road and may light shine on your path ahead. Congrats. Congratulations, graduates, on a job well done. I cannot express how truly happy and excited I am for you. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Go Saints. Congratulations! We love you and I cannot wait to see you, to congratulate you in person and give you a big hug. Keep reading, stay in touch. Congratulations, AQ grads. We're so proud of you. And while you wander off into the wild blue yonder of your future, remember that there is greatness within you and you will always be a saint. Congratulations, sustainable business majors. We can't wait to see where your talents, your passion and your purpose will take you. 2020 and 2021 Aquinas College graduates, I seriously feel like you are going to change the world. Now go out there and get it. Congratulations. Remember that though you've graduated, you are still a saint and we will still be here for you. Congratulations, saints. We are so proud of your phenomenal achievement. And we know that you're gonna go out into the world to do amazing things. Don't forget to come back and tell us all about it. Congratulations. Hey, 2020, 21 grads, I uh, just wanted to say congratulations for persevering on to graduation uh, in these very trying, and as they keep saying, unprecedented times throughout spring of 2020 and into the spring of 2021 now. Uh, you've all proven yourself to be true saints, and we're very proud of all of you. So congratulations once again. Congratulations, graduates. Hey, Matt, get back here. <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations, guys. We're proud of you. The answer is always 9X. We'll miss you. Congratulations. Bye. 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 Have a great time. Congratulations, everyone. I hope that the next chapter in the story of your life is one filled with excitement and joy. On behalf of the Political Science Department, we are very proud of you and the work you have done here. It's been a pleasure working with each of you in your educational program. I know you'll make outstanding professional contributions. Go make the world a better place and don't let democracies die. Hey Saints, especially fellow English Saints, I join with my colleagues to congratulate you on making it to this point despite some super challenging circumstances. Wishing you all the best. On behalf of the Computer Information System Department, I just wanted to take this opportunity to express our pride and acknowledge your hard work in achieving this momentous milestone in your life. We know that this is only the beginning of many challenges that you will face, but we know that you'll be able to face them head on and conquer them as well. We wish you well in all your future endeavors. Theology grads, you have been a gift to us. As you leave us, we pray that you act in such a way that springs from the truth of the gospel and place yourself at the service of life and love. Congratulations, graduating class of 2021 and 2020. We are so proud of you for what you have accomplished here at Aquinas College. We wish you the best in your personal and professional lives. Go Saints. Congratulations from the accounting department. You persevered and you made it. You may not feel like it at this point. We know you are all stronger for having gone through this last year. Stay connected with your AQ family on Facebook and LinkedIn.
Thank you to all of our Aquinas faculty. That's a pretty special faculty. Those folks have uh, really been um, doing remarkable things in order to, uh, to deliver on what it is that, uh, that we promise to you. And they will be your mentors for a very, very long time. And now, to address our newest alums, I'd like to invite Paul B. back to the podium. All right, thank you, President Quinn. Um, on behalf of Aquinas College community, I'm honored to be the first to welcome you, the class of 2020, to the alumni ranks. <laughs> For the past year, you've been part of the 23,000 members of AQ Alumni Association all around the world. You now have a lifelong membership and a lifelong connection to this great institution. I hope you experience, as I have, the strong bonds that remain even after you leave this campus. As an alum, every day you are showing the world what it means to be a saint, whether it is through your fight for justice, your curiosity for the unknown, your ministry, your grit, or your grace, your example illuminates the world. And in times of darkness and times of joy, remember that for now and forever, you will always remain a saint. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Paul, and thanks for uh, uh, joining us this weekend. Paul was doing double duty this weekend, like uh, many of our volunteers and uh, others have been doing. Graduates, we now offer our sincerest blessings as you enter or continue the next exciting phase of your lives. I invite Elizabeth Konarszewski uh, from the class of 2020 to offer our closing prayer. Please join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the precious gift of education. Thank you for the Aquinas community and all the lifelong friendships and memories we have made. And thank you for all those who have supported us throughout our college journeys. We pray that your will be done in our lives. As many of us look toward new beginnings, we ask for the grace of trust in your plans so that we may go out into the world to share our gifts, knowledge, and love as you have taught us. Send us your spirit so that we may serve our communities, continue our studies, and remember to always pray to you, our Heavenly Father, when we go forth into the world as graduates. Thank you for leading many of us into careers and for giving those of us still searching for a vocation the peace and courage to keep moving forward. Please bless our faculty and staff and all of the leaders in education. Give them wisdom and fortitude that they may teach the next generation with love. We ask for the intercession of St. Thomas Aquinas so that we may order our lives and seek as he did. Nonisite Domine, nothing but you, Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. I now ask our chaplain, Father Bob Keller, to offer our final blessing. Blessed be the name of the Lord God, the most merciful and generous. For in a world so worn and weary, tested so dearly by a virus, lethal and of global proportion, racial inhumanity in streets here and abroad, and numerous refugees pushed to foreign borders worldwide, O oh, frail nature of earth and of our mortal enterprises, but into such a world your disciples were sent empowered by your spirit and equipped with the gospel of love, they astounded the world with joy and hope beyond imagining. 
At this moment, we stand at the threshold of our commission. Bless with a vision embodied by the Aquinas College community, endowed with saintly friendships and enlightened with knowledge seeking understanding. Let it be our turn to step undaunted into this weary world to manifest your light to those in darkness, your peace where there is fear and division, and to live even amidst uncertainties with hope. Grant then an exorbitant portion of your spirit to see with delight that love of you and then of our neighbor that completes the good work you have begun in us. You who are Father, Son, and Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Thanks, Father Bob. And thank you to all of our new graduates and everyone on the live stream for joining us today. We are overjoyed to be able to have this meaningful day for all of you and for all of us. Before we close, I'd like to say thank you to the Aquinas College Commencement Committee for making this day possible under very difficult circumstances. I can't overstate how incredible the work of this team has been. The hundreds of hours that they put in over the past year, planning and pivoting and then planning again, pivoting again, planning again, that came from their very deep care for you, for you, our graduates. And that group's commitment, representing all of our commitment to giving you a meaningful celebration to recognize all that you've accomplished. They represent, along with all the volunteers and everybody else who put so many hours into this, into making this day a reality, they represent what our mission hopes to achieve. Support of our students so that you can discover and hone your God-given gifts and then go out and illuminate the world. We will share photos from this day on the Aquinas College social media accounts today and in the coming days. A recording of the live stream will be available on the Aquinas College YouTube channel for viewing at your leisure. As we conclude our celebration today, I call Provost Jermick forward to lead our academic uh, recessional. Ushers will release the graduates row by row. And one last time, <clears throat> I invite our college staff and administrators to stand and cheer you on as you leave this beautiful campus. And not for the last time, we hope. Congratulations again to the class of 2020. Have a wonderful day. God bless and happy Mother's Day.